In this lab, I'm going to remotely connect from my Windows computer to my Linux computer that I'm running here in a virtual machine, and I'm going to do it with an entire graphical user interface connected remotely. Now to do this, I'll need to go into Linux Mint, and I'm going to need to install a couple of programs. I'll type sudo app-get install xrdp. Okay, RDP or XRDP has been installed, and I'm also going to need to install tight VNC server. Okay, now I can do a netstat dash LVN pipe to more. And I can see that I'm listening on port 22 with my SSH server. And also I'm listening on port 3389. You can see here 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 colon 3389. This is XRDP. But I don't see tight VNC server. So even though I installed tight VNC server, I don't see it running. I'll do the same command, except I'll, instead of LVN, I'll do dash LVP. For protocol and once again you can see here SSH and let's see here port 3389 but I don't see tight VNC server so control C to do that I'm going to just need to run tight VNC server so I'll just type the name tight VNC server to launch it and you will require a password to access your desktops I'll put in my password Would you like to enter a view only password? And I'll put no. So I've launched tight VNC server. Let's see if it's running. I'll put netstat LVP pipe to more. And you can see that now I'm listening on port 5901, process ID 5704, X tight VNC. And you can see here X11 1. Process 5704 X tight VNC. So now tight VNC server is running and we're listening on port 5901. Now, before I can connect with remote desktop from Windows to Linux, I'm going to need to edit my XRDP configuration. To do this, I'll type clear and sudo nano dash C for line numbers and I'll go to root etc xrdp forward slash xrdp dot ini file open it up and this is the config file for xrdp I'll go down to line 18 and type address equals 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 hit enter and we can see here now I've added this line, line 18, address equals 0.0.0. .0, .0. I'll do control X, Y to save, and enter to accept the file name to write. And now all I need to do is restart XRDP. So sudo service XRDP restart. And that will restart the service. You can see OK, OK, so it's been restarted. So now I can try to connect from my Windows computer to my Linux computer, Linux Mint, using Remote Desktop. Let's give it a try. I'll go to the Start menu, type MSTSC for Microsoft Terminal Services Client. There it is. Open it up. Put in the IP address that I want to connect to which is my Linux computer at 192.168.3.152 and press connect and I'll accept the security certificate I'll put in my username my username and my password
and I'm connected. Isn't that awesome? Now, not only do I have a connection to Linux, but I have an entire graphical user interface using remote desktop. So a remote desktop connection from Windows to Linux. And now all I need to do is scroll around. And as you can see, I have access to my menu and I can run the desktop and browse the desktop and have full graphical user support. Now this is excellent. Now the only thing that would be better than this is if I could encrypt the entire connection. And to do that, I'll need to use an SSH port tunnel. So if I could get this remote desktop connection from Windows to Linux and put it through an SSH encrypted port tunnel, that would be even better. And so that's what I'm gonna to try to do next. So let's give that a go. So I'll close this remote desktop connection and we'll try to run the entire thing, but this time I'm going to try to run it with an SSH port tunnel. 